Bakhtiari when he's down there, he does the beer chugging thing. Uh, how how are your beer chugging skills? Horrible. If, really? <laughs> horrible. Yeah. I'm really not. I'm really not a drinker, man. I probably be a chug a beer and throw up. There's no uh, trash talking that's gonna go on here between you and Bakhtiari right now. No, I let him have that. <laughs> I seen Twelve try to challenge him, man. He killed Twelve in the bridge on uh, chugging. So you guys ripped Twelve for his beer chugging skills in the locker room. Most definitely. We <laughs> when we came back. <laughs> When we came back from the off season, I think we probably like two weeks straight. Everybody was on on his head, ripping him up about it and stuff. When it's not COVID, what's the go to bar after the game? Um, we'll go downtown, and they, last year they opened up a club called um, Club Nine Twenty. Uh, we went there probably like three or four times um, last year. We had rented out like the session part and. Um, I really we enjoyed it. So you're not you're not a bar guy. You're more of a club guy. Is that fair to say? Uh, probably fifty fifty. I wouldn't say club or bar. Okay. Probably fifty fifty. Yeah, okay. I don't mind. I don't mind stepping in bars. You no, know, getting a little drink, chill, and then sometimes you know I like to get gnarly, man. Just go go to a party, go crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Are you are you a dancer? It depends. It depends on how many shots I had. All right. Well, wh- how many shots do you need to become a dancer? I mean, you're a lineman. That's it's got to be a lot of shots. Not really. I'm really. I'm really not a drinker. I probably if I can get two cups of Casamigos and then probably like four shots. Well, probably about two shots. Oh, jeez. And I'm on a dance floor, kind of going like going crazy. <laughs> okay. Okay. What's your go-to move on the on the dance floor? I tend to bite my bottom lip and just uh, miss every single rhythmic element to the song. You know, very white guy on the dance floor. Uh, I've perfected those moves. What's your go-to? It really depends on the vibe, but I say my go-to would probably be the running man. You know. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. I hit the random man before I hit anything. Who's the biggest shit talker in the locker room? On the field, I'll probably say I am. Um, oh, are you? Yeah. Yeah, on the field, I talk a lot of noise. Like last year I was playing my um I was playing one of my friends that played for the Titans. Like we talking the whole game, like from from the first snap to the last snap. But you know, it's all love. I feel like they're just bring the juice to the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so a lot of times when you when you're just talking smack in the middle of the game, it's it's kinda like to hype you up and to hype the other guy up to like have more fun. Like what's the purpose? I don't know. It's just I guess it's just a, a good instinct or something. Like so they'll be talking or something. I just be like, man, shut up. Ain't nobody trying to hear that or just calling them garbage, calling them trash. You know, just just a whole lot of stuff. Just different things. Some things I can't say on camera. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. I, I, uh, figured, I figured this is the PG version of it. So roll out the barrel and get the band brewing. Life's got you down. Just keep her moving.